Here are my top tips for growing sweet corn. I sowed these back at the beginning of April, but my first tip is if you don't have time or if you haven't got round to it, just go and buy them from the garden center. Sweet corn is one of my favorite things to grow and there's a few key things you need to do to keep it happy. It needs loads of sun, a decent amount of room and some nice rich soil. So I've added some well rotted manure compost. A couple of my modules have two plants in, so I'm just gonna split them up. Now the most important thing to know about planting sweet corn is that you need to do it in a block or grid, not in one long row. And that's because sweet corn Corn is wind pollinated. Planting them like this means that when they start to produce pollen, the wind will blow through and dust the pollen down onto the silks below across the whole block. If they're in a row, you might end up with poorly pollinated patchy cobs. Traditional spacing says 45 centimeters, but I go for about 30. Now I love sweet corn, so I always do a second batch, so direct, so that I get more sweet corn about four to six weeks after my first harvest. I've soaked these overnight and I'm sowing two seeds per hole at exactly the same spacing as the plants so 30 centimetres and then I'll thin it down to one plant once they come up. Direct sowing works best in the warmer parts of the UK and can be done until the end of May. Then I cover the whole area in sticks to try and deter foxes and cats. When these tassels appear at the top of your plants it means they're producing pollen and if you give the plants a little shake it will help the pollen get down onto the silks on the cobs below. And my most common pest is caterpillars in the top of my corn cobs which I keep an eye out for and remove. Honestly is there a more beautiful thing to grow than corn? I don't know if there is.